want to talk about a better route planner because you, sir, are a Tesla owner, a multi-Tesla owner, and you've got it made. You don't have to worry about things. But us in the uh, non-Tesla world, we have trouble on vacations knowing about, you know, how far we can go. Yeah, and especially around here in the prairies of Canada where there's large distances, not that many chargers, you know, it won't necessarily be this bad where you live. So it's an app that plans your route, right? You plan your route, you say, I want to go to City X and I want to leave today. And uh, under the terrain, it knows the terrain, the ups and the downs. It knows the, the temperature, which affects range. It knows the wind and the forecast wind. And that's in the paid version. So I, before I paid for it again, I used the non-paid version. And there was a big difference, right? There was a big difference. So you need to use the paid version, which is yeah. five euros a month, which works out to $7 Canadian six dollars american something like that but if you're traveling oh it's worth it like it completely takes like i have less range anxiety than i do in a gas car because i know your gas car doesn't say you have three percent left it says you have this much left and it, it can vary quite you know it's not looking at the weather you know your gas yeah. car is just looking yeah. at what it's using at the moment in time it was rock solid brian rock solid i mean two nice I think maybe once it was off 1%, but that's nothing. That's like six kilometers or something, or, you know, it's it's nothing. It's four kilometers even. And that's because my son drove a little faster than I told the app that I was going to drive. So it knew, it knew, it knew, it knew everything. And it was perfect. So what, what I do with this app is, uh, in my particular case, I have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you know, whatever you use. And it can show it right on the car screen. The app projects to the car screen from your phone. And I think it uses Google Maps too. So it's a navigation system essentially when you're driving. And in the corner of the screen, it tells you your current percentage of battery and the battery percentage of your destination. What? And, you know, I, I lowered it to 6% because of this app because I got confident. Well, it used to be like 10, 11%. But now that I'm so confident in it, I've been able to lower that. And even though the car flashes at me saying, charge battery soon and beeps, and you know, it's scary, it's scary at first, but no range anxiety whatsoever on this trip. Nothing. You know, I'd done it before last year, so I got confident in where the chargers are and how they worked and such. But I'll, I'll talk more about that later. But I just wanted to say that a better road planner, if you're in a non-EV, what you need to do is buy like a, I don't know, it's 20 US, $30 Canadian, a, a low, a Bluetooth, low energy dongle. Um, you can find it. Um, basically, it's the one that everyone buys. It's at the top of the search. As long as it's Bluetooth, low energy, it will work with the app usually on, on most cars. You can check it out because a better road planner was started in Europe, but Rivian bought it. So now... It seems just the same as it ever was. And it will, they've tested it with different cars and they re, they take in data with different cars. So if your car is brand new and it, you know, say you're driving a Chevy Equinox, it's only a few of them around and they're not going to have as good a data on that. But the Bolt's been around for a long time and it will improve, you know, drastically the more people that use these things. But holy cow, it was rock solid. The Clean Energy Show.